hey what's up youtube fans this is hamak 2424 um, in this video i'm gonna be reviewing about the google experience launcher which was first indeed introduced on the nexus 5 um, i currently have a nexus 4 at the moment um, we got the kitkat upgrade but we didn't we did not receive the google experience launcher because it was just for the nexus 5 so I downloaded downloaded to some mirror files and I'm using that and I'm gonna kind of loving it. The best thing about the launcher is that it's full screen, as you can see, it's full screen till the note toggles over here and from the upside of the screen. And plus you don't have a and plus the good thing about this, this launcher is that uh, if you wanna have another home screen you can just by pressing on the app and going on the right hand side and boom the three app another home screen is made if you want to close this or i mean you want to end the home screen you just want to click on the app and move it back to the place it was or you would just remove from here by going up and remove so it was it, it was just that simple now the reason why i love this feature is because um in the stock 4.3 jelly bean till jelly bean we had around five screens and i was kind of annoyed at that because i really didn't know how to use five screens at a time so this is pretty cool i use only one screen the home screen and the second feature i love about the Google Experience Launcher is that we have a separate we have a separate Google Now window over here on the, on the left hand side where we can go directly or we can navigate to Google Now by pressing the home button and swiping up and another feature which I loved about the new launcher and on the google 4.4 kitkat is that it has an arrow over here first it was circle which really didn't mean anything but now it does and um, and one more thing when you install the google experience launcher you get a neat feature which which you had not gotten with the nexus 4 and that feature is ok google what is the weather like today? This was the feature which I was talking to you about and um, I did not get this feature with the stock launcher but I'm gonna give it a try Oops Let's talk about the App Store now the app store has quite changed now the icons it's a uh, four by five and there are less icons on one page comparative to the 4.3 up till to 4.3 launcher now this launcher has been customized um, the trans the wallpaper on the home screen is transparent now you can see it through you can see your wallpaper through the app app drawer and um, plus the app plus the widget section and the app section which which were used to be on the right hand side is now moved if you want if you want to sorry about that i'm gonna sleep here at the moment but if you want to access your widget uh, you just have to press on the screen and you'll get this whole menu wallpaper and widget and settings the setting is for google now for doing all the default settings and don't want to go right jump into that you know all that stuff um, you just press the widget and you'll get all the widgets which are available on the device or you can click on wallpaper to adjust the wallpaper now the neat thing about the new wallpaper setting is that in the google experience launcher is that when you click on it you can move 
Oh wait. I'll find the wallpaper which is movable. Um, I guess it's not. But you can by pressing on the wallpaper and then pressing on the screen, you get a whole screen. So that you can know how that it's good or not. And you and you have your live wallpaper on the last. Wait, it's loading. I haven't used it up till now. Oh, it's so. This was it, and the Google Experience Launcher is quite good. Um, it's neat and clean, compared to the 4.3 launcher or the Jelly Bean. And this is my review on the Google Experience Launcher. I hope you all like the video and. I hope you will subscribe, subscribe, like the video and share it. This is Hamad2424 signing out.